Okay, this is the P1 paper from June 2021. Uh, we're going to be looking at question number one here. If we have a look at question number one, we can see that this is a differentiation question. And in the second part, we're going to be working out the equation of a normal. So let's start with the differentiation part, part A. So it says that y is equal to x squared over 3 plus 4 over root x. I'll need to change that. Plus 8 over 3x. I'll need to change that as well. Minus 5. So let's just tidy this up so that it's something that I can differentiate. x squared over 3 is no problem. 4 over root x. I can call that 4 over x to the half. 8 over 3x minus 5. And then both of these two, we can call those negative powers. What do I mean by that? Well, let's just show you. We're going to get y equals x squared over 3 plus 4x to the minus a half plus 8 over 3x to the minus 1 minus 5. And now I need to differentiate that. When I differentiate... We multiply by the power, we take one off the power. So x to the one we don't write down. With the second one, we multiply by the power. Four times minus a half is actually gonna give me, not plus, but minus two. Take one off the power. One taken away from minus a half is gonna give me minus three over two. Do enough practice of those so that that becomes really straightforward. And even the next one, Multiplying by the power is going to make it minus, and taking one off of minus one is minus two. The five obviously disappears. So that's dy by dx in its simplest form. You don't need to put those um, negative powers back down as two over x to the three over two and um, one over x squared. It's fine to leave it like that. Let's have a look and see what part B says. So part B says to find the equation of a normal. Okay, if I want to find the equation of a straight line, just quickly I'll do it up here. Equation of a straight line is y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. In my question, they must give me x1, sorry, y1, x1, and m. Those three must be in the question somewhere. Well, that's x1 and that's y1, so it's only m that I need to find. Be careful. When you use the gradient function, we're going to get the gradient of the tangent. We haven't got tangent, we've got normal. So in order to work out m, I'm going to work out the gradient of the tangent. I'm just going to put x equals 4 into dy by dx. When I've got that answer, that's the gradient of the tangent. The gradient of the normal will be minus 1 over that. Then I'll have x1, y1 and m and I can just finish off the question. Okay, there's a lot of chat about that. Let's actually just go ahead and do that now and make it clear to the examiner what I'm doing. So for part B, first of all, at x equals 4, dy by dx is going to be 2 lots of 4 over 3 minus 2 lots of 4 to the minus 3 over 2 minus 8 over 3 lots of 4 to the minus two, just stick four into the calculator, work out all those values, uh, and it works out to be, when I plug it in, nine over four. So that's the gradient of the tangent. So the gradient we want, the gradient of the normal then, is equal to minus one over that. Now, even though I've written that down like that, I wouldn't normally do this. It's me just doing it without explaining it to you guys. Just turn it upside down and make it a negative. So that's the gradient that we've got. So now we're looking for the equation of a normal. But the equation of a straight line, really. We're going to use the formula for the equation of a straight line. The equation of any straight line is y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. And in the question, they must have given me these three things. x1, y1, and m. So x1, y1 is just a coordinate, that was 4, 3, and m is minus 4 over 9, not 9 over 4. That would be if we wanted the equation of a tangent. Right, chuck everything in here then. So I'm going to get um, y minus 3 
is going to be equal to minus 4 over 9x minus 4 when I'm looking at that. Don't mess around at this stage, just multiply everything by 9. Get rid of that um, fraction on the bottom. So I'm going to get 9y minus 27 equals, and I've, I've got rid of the 9 there, so I'll just be left with minus 4. x minus 4 here, tidying this up. 9y minus 27 is minus 4x plus 16. Let's just go back and check with the question. Yeah, I did actually clock it when I was looking at it anyway. That's how they want me to put the answer. So I'm not going to need to rearrange and get y equals mx plus c here. I just want to get, in this case, 4x plus 9y and minus 27. Is that plus 16? Yes, minus 27 minus 16 when we take it over. Minus 43 equals naught then. That's the equation of the normal. Okay, hope that makes sense.